Hi folks, welcome to part two of my retro USB uh, joystick build. Um, the, the first thing we're going to do is mark the holes for the, the joystick itself. And this should be very easy to do because the uh, enclosure is 120 millimeters across, uh, which means at the six centimeter or 60 millimeter point, that is going to be our halfway point. Now, looking at the actual, um, you know, the, the joystick module itself, if we call it a module, we can see that is 60 uh, millimeters across. Um, so what we'll do is we'll mark 60 millimeters. Now, what I want to do is you can see that this case has got um, sort of ribs in it for sliding PCBs in. And that's, um, that's around three millimeters across. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add that to it. So, <clears throat> you know, we've got six. Now, here we go. Very difficult to see this on here. So about 63 millimeters there. Um, and um, I'll just go halfway. Sorry, I'll go to the halfway point. So three three centimeters in there we go so because i've moved it across the three centimeters it's going to obviously be halfway so uh drill point will be this cross here and if i just eyeball that by putting you know the um joystick on there you can see that it's uh it's fairly central so I'm going to use one of these step drills, and I'm just using this on my cordless screwdriver because it's it's just light plastic and it should go through very easily. I'm going to take this up to 14 millimeters. Um, I don't think if you look here, that show right down at the bottom there, that show movement isn't huge. Um, it's quite difficult to sh uh, demonstrate, but I will initially drill it out to 14 um, millimeters, and then see. Uh, how it looks. If we need to open up a little bit more, we can do that. So, so step drills are really, really handy things. Um, I'll just do it sideways. So we're going to the fourth from the end. Okay, and there we have it, a nice uh, clean hole. And if we just put that in there, like so, and then turn that round. So we see. Maybe slightly tight. I'll open up to the, the 16 uh, millimeters now. Let's see if that's uh, a bit better. Yeah, that's much better. You can see that there. Uh, now, don't worry about the the extra space. Let's see that little trim piece goes on there and tidies the whole thing up. So that'll do the job there. So what I'm going to do now is um, mark the holes for um, the um, the buttons now. Um, now if I take one of these apart <clears throat> And if I get, where are they, where did I put them? I did have my digital um, calipers out somewhere. I seem to have misplaced them. Um, but what we do is we need to, yeah, here they're here. We need to measure, um, need to measure just how big the hole needs to be. Um, so millimetres, zero it. Um, and just be careful, there's a little... Uh, you can see just where the calipers are. We've got the threaded part, then there's a little lip, and then the, the flange itself. So, uh, measuring that there, 
26 and a half millimeters so if I just go around check for the worst case that's 26.4 26.4 26.6 so 26.6 is our uh, widest point and we do have a little um, very probably difficult for you to see there but there's a little keyed piece there as well and that's obviously going to be a bit of so yeah 27.2 so we'll go with 26 point um, 26.6 uh, millimeters or 27 close enough for government work isn't it um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to mark um, where we want these now just to give us a bit of reference we've got um, around um, five centimeters to play with uh, at the joystick uh, you know above the joystick itself so um, we'll just eyeball where these are going to go now we don't necessarily need both uh, both switches but I just think it will look a bit bit nicer with the two keep it sort of symmetrical if you like um, so we'll go with something like that um, now I had uh, thought about this and I've got a two pence piece here as Her Majesty God Save the Queen and all that and that is uh, just a shade under 26 millimeters. so we've got about point um, 0.5 of a millimetre uh, more that we would need to, to take away but I thought if we just mark this on roughly and uh, just draw a pen around it it would be so much easier to, to cut out so if we go say how can we do this we'll say about 15 say 15 millimetres from the edge and if we go 15 millimetres from the top as well and this doesn't need to be absolutely perfect you know if we just uh, around that like so I'll just double check so that's more like 13 yeah 13 and then if we just uh, do the same again this side Obviously, feel free to fast forward the bits that uh, I'm talking through because, uh, yeah, it might be a bit boring. Yeah, that looks a bit right. Okay, so, yeah, those look, that looks fine. So, 13, yeah, 13. 13 yeah, 13 yeah so that's good so we're 13 mils uh, in and down if that makes sense so what we'll do now is we'll just uh, drill these out right so And then what we'll do is I'll <clears throat> stop the video and widen, widen these out with my Dremel. Um, while we're at it, we might as well put uh, our um, cable gland in as well. Now, I think this is a 12mm. Yeah, 12mm. So, again, um, we'll have it halfway. So, we five and a half so I'm 
just eyeball it and um, on the six again and we'll go through to the yeah fifth and then 12 12 millimeters See what that is? We'll take that one more. There we go. And then our cable gland fits in there quite nicely. <coughs> and we'll just pop in that on that just now. Okay. Right, so I'll pause the video, I'll open these holes up and then we will um carry on now obviously I'm gonna to have to uh, drill some holes for the to actually mount the, the joystick itself but I'll do that offline and um, you know I'm sure you don't need to see me doing that so yeah I'll uh, see you for part three in just a moment hello again folks uh, I'm just keeping this as part of part two uh, so basically what I've done is I've drilled the four mounting holes for the the joystick itself and I've uh, sanded out using my uh, Dremel and you know just a sanding wheel and just open those holes up a bit um, Now the only thing we need to do now is um, you'll see I already showed you it, but there's a, a small keyed area uh, uh, On this on the the lip if you like and I've made these holes a small enough um, Where that's the only thing preventing them from sitting flush and what I'm going to do now is at the um well, six o'clock position, I'm just going to cut a small notch out, just a very small notch, uh, just to keep those switches both at the, the same position, like so. And we want to do it the same position on both, both uh, holes, just uh, to keep the switch switches symmetrical. So hopefully that should fit in there nicely. There we go. So in, and you can see it's uh, at the bottom there. And same with that side. So yeah, we'll put them both in now and just see how they look. Yeah, so that looks fairly symmetrical. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, so we'll just, uh, while we're here, we'll put the uh, backing plates on. And we'll tighten those up. Like so, uh, we'll test fit the, the switches while we're at it as well, just to make sure um, they fit in okay. So, yeah. Those fit nice, and the, um, you know, the terminals at the bottom. I just want to test fit the bottom plate as well. Because that is a consideration. I did check it before. I didn't show you in the video, but um, you know, those are very close to the bottom. But as you can see, there's no pressure at all uh, on the the bottom of the case. So there we go. Um, right, I will stop the video now, uh, and the next part will be actually doing the the electronics part of it, the soldering. So yeah, I'll see you uh, in a moment for part um, three. Yeah, see you in a moment, guys. Cheers.